It has started. We made our first stop, just picked up Syntex. Out here at the Dunkin' Donuts, and we'll leave northern Delaware and head up to the mountains. And yeah, we're at Buckhorn again, which means we're a little bit past the halfway point, almost there. A little bit of going through Williamsport and up through Liberty, and we'll, we'll just about be there. So next time you see us, uh, we should be just about arriving at the cabin. Here we are, we've arrived at the cabin. Syntex and I made the drive up as usual, Friday, Black Friday, beautiful traffic. Got here about noon today, uh, great day, 41 out, uh, not a cloud in the sky that we can see. You can see some of the sun on me, it's certainly a beautiful day, nice. A little bit cool, but uh, not cold, so we're not freezing. Uh, car is unloaded, we are set for the beginning of Pennsylvania deer season, the, the tradition, the Monday after Thanksgiving. It's been that way ever since I could remember. Expect me medical man to arrive shortly. He's only about 10 miles away from as I speak. Camp Cook and the chairman uh, are still down in the lower Philly region and they have to make their way up. They'll probably be up here this evening about in time for dinner. Time for those hamburgers or bacon cheeseburgers that we're going to be making this, this evening. So uh, come on along. Uh, it is our tradition. Again, Pennsylvania deer season, deer camp, however you like to think of it. Uh, it, is, it is a great tradition. It is about camp life. It is about being up here with the guys. It is about having meals with them, having dinner with them, talking with them, laughing recounting stories that's what camp life is about is it about the kill all the time absolutely not if that comes great we love it we want to get a giant buck just like anybody else we want that we want that to be on the wall so we can see that forever and ever and ever but it's camp life it's the great time that you have with the people that you go with and hopefully if you're viewing that you've had your camp and you've you've made some new stories you've, you've thought of a or you found some new adventures and uh, you've, you've had some laughs with the guys and girls. Uh, maybe you harvested a deer, maybe you didn't, but maybe it's something that you're gonna remember for the rest of your days and that's the important thing. So again, come on along and uh, I hope you enjoy the ride. Deer Camp, the final frontier. These are the adventures of its go time camp. It's 100 year mission to explore strange new mountains, to seek out deer life and cooking revelations, to boldly go where no camp has gone before. Good to see you here. Good to see you. Nice. Angry bees <laughs> up there. 
great. Oh, hey. Beautiful weather. Gorgeous weather. Here this time. A little calm before the storm is uh, going on, I like to think of it. <laughs> That's right. If you know what I mean. Italians are on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let's get you unpacked, get the cabin. All right. Maybe it could be a whole lot of nothing. Hey, our beer selection. Of course, brought the same box from last year, the Pennsylvania Tuxedo box. Uh, I keep this in the basement. And I did bring up just a four pack of Dogfish Pennsylvania Tuxedo. A new beer from them, Liquid Truth Serum. That uh, they do something a little bit with, different with their hops. I think they put it in pre boil or post boil or some boil, this, that, or the other thing. So it tastes a little bit different. Then my normal 19 ounce pony pony cans, a little sequence ale, which is made with limes and uh, sea salt, black lime and sea salt. Really good, kind of a thirst quencher if you ever get a chance to take it on a hot day. Tastes pretty good. Gonna give that one to Medical Man. And Syntex brought up a little Southern Tier, uh, Southern Tier Brewing selection, a nice 15 pack. Uh, this is Lakewood, New York, which is actually kind of close to here so it's pretty fitting for it nice it's got a variety of beer in here you got the new school IPA uh, India pale ale uh, we got a, another pale ale the citra hop a pills and a two-time smash which is uh, where we got this guy nice 8.1 so that'll be a nice when you feel like getting it on right away uh, we are gonna definitely enjoy these they these are gonna go into the to the NWTF uh, cooler that that we keep up here uh, beautiful for putting our beer in this was a, certainly a nice thing to get and also uh, help the the turkeys out that uh, the turkey population is just a, such a, a conservation and sportsman success story uh, is it, just unbelievable to even think about so we're gonna get these guys in the cooler here it looks like a giant beer can get these on ice go ahead come on That lump. Let's keep this. Let's oh, keep this for what's us. that for? Yeah. <laughs> well, sun is going down. Normally, you don't have the flags out, but we're gonna keep the flag out. Have it up while we're here. Let it blow in the wind. And just a quick story. Uh, senior was a veteran, an Air Force veteran. Uh, served his time in Vietnam, 1970 and uh, certainly did his duty over there. Uh, he was wounded in a, a base when the base was shelled by uh, either Viet Cong or North Vietnamese and was wounded in the in the arm and kind of got infected a little bit. He went to the hospital. He saw a lot of guys in really bad shape in the hospital, you know, but really serious wounds and they came to give him his Purple Heart and he just couldn't accept it just because of all the things that he saw in the hospital, the guys going through a lot worse things that he was kind of a, a, a thing that I always admired him for to say, you know, there was a there was a, got a lot more people that deserved it more than I did. And you know, he, he kind of left that Purple Heart there. I, I sort of wish he would have taken it. Uh, you know, I think if he, he certainly deserved it for being there and being wounded. Also admire him for, for not accepting it. So just a little, uh, just a little senior story for now. We'll leave old Glory there uh, for the weekend. We'll take him down on Wednesday morning when we leave. Maybe around what, five o'clock ish. Maybe a little afternoon coffee. Got some nice special creamer in there. Thanks to viewer Josh for sending that along. We'll try that out in a little bit, but. Uh, yeah, we do have the old school coffee maker that works with the um, gas stove in there, propane stove. But I think the Keurig might need to be broken in just to make sure it works from, you know, last year. So we got 120 volt on switches going. Sound baffling on the professional enclosure that we have here, also known as the shooting bench. Let's see if we can't kick this off. Naked? You're naked or what? Oh, sorry you guys had to see that. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing we haven't seen like five, Listen. six times before. Please go wipe my seat now. <laughs> yeah. Lots of nice glaze on your seat. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to talk about some, a lot of things. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we can. We can. We got plenty of time. Hey, let the whole weekend. Yeah. It's pretty, pr pretty obvious. I'm not the go-to guy on your video. You're what? You are like the yeah. star. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like, absolutely. We're gonna have to talk a deal or some, uh, something. Or I'm gonna be out. Yeah. Bingo. You Go think I'm an idiot? You think I'm an idiot? Yeah. yeah. So that's, and that's, just that's business. all it'll take. Yeah. And then maybe, maybe a 60 second with the chairman. Well, I'll put you in the confessional, yeah. man. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. confessional. The shit. <laughs> I'm not getting along with Sean. You know, I'm gonna try to get through. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, you got a new nickname on the drive off. Oh, boy. TT Boy. <laughs> he was an ex uh, male porn guy. I think he died of AIDS in the late 80s. <laughs> so it's a classic. Yeah. It's a classic. classic. Name. So we're bringing it back. Oh, retro. What was it last year? Lolly? No, uh, no, it was uh, Buttercup. Buttercup! <laughs> Buttercup! <laughs> so I mean, it can't get any worse than that. What do we got going on? Well, you, you guys want to get. I don't know what's yeah, yeah, the, the, You want me to get the hamburgers yeah, going now? Yeah, you guys get them yeah. going, and then uh, the other guys, TT and Big Guy, can help us. <laughs> All right. I'll just watch. Yeah. Bacon cheeseburger time. That was my tinfoil blows away. Got about 15 strips of bacon there. Pre-cooked third pan burgers. Get them on. So nice and frozen, too. No pizza this time, we're going to go with burgers. Sounds good to me. It is somebody's birthday today and they requested uh, burgers, so for Cook, these are for you, buddy. Glad to do it. They're ready for the flip. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, they don't get too on fire for us. Of course, of course the wind's always blowing right this way, you get that smoke on it. Got our bacon heating up. Let's get some rolls on there. Some toast some rolls up. Ooh. Got a little spray butter. Hey nice. Jamie, thanks. Appreciate the tip. As soon as I can get it open here. God. Goddamn Tylenol killer. <laughs> so as I get that reference. Oh, that's a nice looking bun too. Well, spray butter on these babies. Yeah, this is a nice one too. It's cheddar cheese on the outside. Oh wow. Steve, you can grab your first burger since it's your birthday, man. Yay, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. And all I want is a new bunk. <laughs> <laughs> come get it, come on, fix your Go ahead, Stefan, get in there, birthday say boy. say no to me on my birthday? Steve, I got a piece of uh, used Boston cream pie for later. We can sing happy birthday later. Right Kind of rolls. Uh, You're blowing yeah, out the flame. Kind of very, uh, this is like a cheddar, but it's it's already on there. Yeah. It's like a it's the square guys. The begins with a C. Are you fine? Ciabatta. Ciabatta. Yeah. That deserves a pick right there. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna do one for. I love. Does everyone know how we eat up here? Mm-hmm. I've been waiting for this. It's 3:30. Oh. Okay. <laughs> My normal dinner time. <laughs> Early bird special. Well, here we are. You can probably see Cook in the background, get some breakfast ready. Great night last night, catching up with all the guys. Stayed up, not that, really that late last night, about midnight or so, which is actually pretty good for us. Uh, but uh, great, great just talking with the guys and having some fun and reliving some memories. The things that uh, that go on in the camp is, is great. Uh, I was having some coffee and gonna get some breakfast. And we're going to see what we're going to do. Uh, one thing is we need wood for the fire or for our stove. So we're going to go buy some. I know there's certainly a lot of trees around here. Uh, it's as many as you can see, but uh, 
it takes somebody to come up and actually get a chainsaw, cut them, and split them. So, uh, yeah, uh, don't happen here. Eric wants to go down, check some things around his stand, maybe cut some stuff out of a shooting lane. Uh, we'll see if he's going to do that. We'll get the wood. Mike wants to do a little bit with his stand. So uh, that's the agenda for today. Not too, too much. Uh, some good, uh, good lunch, good dinner coming up too. So we'll, so we'll see you, uh, see what happens today. Taylor pork roll sizzling on the grill. You know, with little bagels and cheese. You've seen it before, but here it is. Punch it, Chewy! lazy to do any chopping and cutting ourselves. Just got three uh, tanks of propane also, so we got enough for the grills and the heater. One of these stacks and we'll be all set. Like all the way back? Yeah. Alright, cool truck right there. Be good for the uh, rest of the winter. Probably a spring too. Ten bucks a guy. Easier than cutting down a tree. nice out here, doesn't it? Well, hey, I'd rather like to have a warm day today and then it gets a little bit chillier, that's fine. It's supposed to be chilly tomorrow. Yeah. The cook is working today. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Day. There you go. And what is for dinner again? Tenderloin, potatoes. Hey, it is Saturday afternoon. Just had that great lunch at Cheese Steaks. Ohio State, Michigan. Uh, it's on the TV. We just stopped. It's halftime. Figured I'd come out to talk to you for a few minutes, turn the generator off, see how everybody's doing, and just let you know a little bit. Uh, again, a few things about the camp and a couple shout outs. You say, oh, I haven't seen you wear that stuff before. Well, this, this is my dad's hat and uh, his jacket. And on here, the emblem is Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, he was inducted into the Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame, Northeast Pennsylvania region. Oh, back it had to be, uh, ooh, God, in the mid-90s sometime for football, for being a coach and a player. And uh, very proud of that. And just wearing this to honor him because, again, the, the hunting thing kind of reminds me of family. It's just that that's where I heard about hunting. You know, it was my uncle and the stories and things like that. So this time of year, Thanksgiving, just reminds me of friends and family. So I decided to, to give him a little honor him by, by breaking out the hat and uh, his Hall of Fame jacket, which uh, I know he was proud of too. Again, it is Saturday afternoon. 
The season starts Monday in Pennsylvania, always starts on the first Monday after Thanksgiving. In Pennsylvania, there is no hunting on Sunday. Pennsylvania has not changed that. A little bit of the blue laws, uh, so that's kind of still in effect. If you hear Eric tooling around on his four-wheeler in the background. Go fuck out of here! <laughs> taking the halftime break also. So what we really do is we just come up here for the first two days, the Monday and Tuesday, and that's that's about it. That's what the, everybody's life has, has come to. You have other vacations. You just can't devote uh, the length of time to it like we'd want to. Now, I could if I really wanted to, but uh, normally I like, like to come up here with uh, Sean Syntex and, you know, spend the time with him. And uh, then when we're done, on, we're going to go back Wednesday morning. And we're done when we're done. So that's we, we enjoy the two days that we have, but there'll be another two weeks. Now, there is buck hunting only here. So you can only take a buck. You see some does in the video and you say, oh, why didn't they harvest the does? You know, because that season, the doe part of it doesn't start until next week. But again, in Pennsylvania, I think they're giving out way, way too many doe licenses any, anyway. 830,000 doe licenses were issued in PA. And that's just a ridiculous number. It's, it's, I don't know what the game commission is trying to do about that. I know there's a lot of deer versus car accidents and I don't know if the insurance company are putting pressure on them to do that, but it just wasn't like that before. And it's just kind of brought the, I think the quality down a little bit. Of course, that's my, that's my opinion. Yours may differ a little bit the situation in the area that you're in, and that's that's certainly understandable. Uh, you heard a couple shots maybe there in the background. There's guys shooting up here on the mountain, uh, as they always do. And it's go time. It's really the camp name. Uh, sometimes we just shorten it up for our go time. That was Senior's idea. We It's, it's basically, we sort of go, got it from a card game that we used to play, basically. Jacks are better, uh, trips to win, progressive style of uh, poker and if you know about poker you know exactly what i'm talking about but uh, that's what we used to call that you know it's go time and that's what we would play Jack jacks are better to, to open and trips to win then he ended up calling the camp from that but i also and i'm not sure but i think he got it from seinfeld and and senior was a big seinfeld fan only person that i know that actually had that portrait of kramer hanging in his living room so I know he was a big fan, and he may have got it, the great Lloyd Bridges, with his go time. So uh, I think he got it from that, and it's a great name. Sean and I wrapped up Delaware deer season last week. I hope you've seen the deer that I was able to take, and here's a quick shot of it. It was certainly the best deer that I've ever gotten in my life as far as uh, rack size and body size. Uh, it dressed out 177 pounds, 207 estimated live. Nice eight-pointer, beautiful, beautiful deer. Got that opening morning of the Delaware deer season. Hunted on and off for the rest of the week, but uh, that was the only one that I ended up harvesting. Uh, but I am certainly thrilled to death with it. I'm, I just want to thank everybody for all the replies that I got on that. So many, hey, what a great buck, congratulations. And, and really, that, that, that means a lot to me. Just one thing about the showing all the cooking in this video, too is I feel that it's the camp experience, is getting together with the guys, eating great food, drinking good, good uh, beer and whiskey and things, not, of course, that, anything to do with cars or driving, but safely doing that kind of stuff. Like falling asleep in a chair after a big breakfast, and then all of a sudden your phone starts blowing up with all these pictures you start receiving. Unbelievable. What fun. Uh, to me, that's the camp life. It's about the camp life. It's not about me being out in a tree. You'd see me take the shot and then it's over. I like the whole camp experience. To me, that is what it's all about. Now, the pipe, well, this one came, was sent to me from Mark, back country pipe. Hopefully, uh, some of you have subscribed last year to him. I'm going to give him another shout out this year. Check out Mark's channel, again, back country pipe sent me this beautiful Stanwell pipe that uh, I'm enjoying right now. It's a nice level one I can sit down on the table without it spelling. Mark, thank you very much, really. I really appreciate this coming from your, your private stock and uh, tobacco that you sent down to me. I, I really appreciate that, and thanks a lot. You got a great channel, and uh, we, hey, we, 
We, like a bunch of the other guys, want to see you do more of them too. Also want to send a shout out to Nick out there in Northeastern Oklahoma A&M College. I hope I got that right, Nick. Uh, congratulations on your team's championship. Uh, that really way to go. I saw your highlights. Good player. Uh, keep up the good work, the hard work, all it, all it takes to, to win a championship. You're on the, certainly on the right track. One last thing here before we get back to Michigan and Ohio State, which basically I have no vested interest in, but it's good football, Big Ten football. Uh, my opening graphic, you know, the three seconds of the Rook and my name, the White Rook 85. Anybody out there uh, has any, any type of graphic software that you want to create a new one for me, uh, please get, contact me. You want to contact me, just click uh, the About button. Uh, and you'll see my email address in there and contact me and say hey yeah I have I have some software I can create something for you we can work out how I can compensate you for that if you think you can do one for me uh, I'd really appreciate it just the length I like it between maybe three and eight seconds at the most I like to show the little intro and then get right into the video you have that talent and you think you can come up with something very simple I just I do want the chess piece in there it's a rook and uh, and incorporate the 85 in there somehow, uh, favorite number. So if you could do that for me, again, please, the about, and you'll see my email address. You can contact me. So let's get back to the game and get the generator back on, and uh, I know the guys will be yelling at me because it's not on. And So there's we can't power our cell phones. So we'll see you in there. So I had some uh, mesquite and some hickory wood chips um, that were soaking. I'm going to use them today. Medical man will use some more tomorrow. Uh, for the ribs, throwing potatoes now because it'll take a little while. It's only cooking at about 270, 280 degrees, um, so it'll take a couple hours. Potatoes, a little bit of onion, fresh rosemary, some garlic, um, some sea salt. I got that wood in here, and then I put some more of the fresh rosemary on top of the wood. Hurt my back carrying this. That's for sure. What's the weight on it? About six pounds. That's six pounds. Good. It's good. Can I taste your juice? Yeah, we're all doing that That shit should have been done. That's my Sean's room, and you're not. All right? What do you got in the corn cob? A vanilla flavored tobacco. It's is what? it Abascus? Colt Abascus? Yeah, Colt yeah. is the manufacturer of Abascus. I like the cold stuff. And what's in the cocktail? Oh, it's just a classic Red Bull and vodka. Oh. Tito's seems to be the official vodka of the cabin. Uh, I think it is. The I, cabin. I definitely. definitely. You can drink vodka at home, but at the cabin, only Tito's will do. Tito's. Classy. Real guy. Real. Smuggled in from Aruba. Mm -hmm. Dramatization right now. But this is what it would look like. Yeah, if, if you did really cigar. do it, this was exactly what it would look like. What? If I did what? If you did actually smuggle one in from Aruba, this yeah. is this is what it would look like. But of course, we. Yeah, I don't do that. I don't, and I don't condone that either. No. Yeah. Mm. Hate actors. Right. Make sure Tom puts some on the bottom. Mike was just kidding. He <laughs> likes to Josh. He's a he's a everybody knows you're a kidder. Character. So right now it's about 125 degrees. I'm just gonna carry this whole thing ow right over. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you yep. Right there. Ah. See that? Mm. There it is. Looking sweet. Smells good. We'll let that just sear. Pieces are delicious. Very good. Hey Josh, we appreciate like... it from the, all the guys at the club. We're anything. all having one yeah, right give now. Give it to me. I'll fill it up with this one. <laughs> Thanks. And who's this for? Tell him I said, tell him we said thank you. Yep. There you hey, go. Hey Josh, everybody. Mike, the chairman. Thank cook. you. Very all, polite. 
Yeah. Thank We're you. All having a cup. Did you here. eat garbage or it just comes oh. out that way? By the way, I believe That's December is check your own prostate month. So good luck. good luck to everybody out there. Time, 11.23. Let's look at what happened here. Time for breakfast this morning. Sausages are cooking up. Oh, I'm taking care of them. As you can see, had a little bit of light, light dusting of flurries and snow last night. Accumulation, I was putting even thanks an eighth of an inch over here. For those of you that know, this is Scrapple. This is a uh, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Jersey type thing. I'm sure it's other places. Uh, made out of pork. And it's kind of a nose to tail thing with the uh, with the pigs thing. So, but if you had scrapple before, eh, I love it. Just gonna cook some up for the guys. Gonna have a nice big breakfast this morning. Got some hash browns frying up here. Oh yeah. Scrapple, you want to kind of give a crisp on one side, a little tender in the middle, and crisp on the other. It's kind of working out pretty good. It seems like. Flip them over. And you see they brown up nicely. They're doing pretty good on here. I didn't know how it was going to turn out on the pan, but uh, so far so good. And I did this up. Scrapple sausages. Ash Browns. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Sean. Nice move going to the other side. And Sunday morning after breakfast, Sean and I are going to go down and check his stand out and do the normal, make sure the integrity of the wood is good and get the leaves cleaned off. And then we'll go check mine and see if those flying squirrels are still living in my tree stand. tree has come down right onto the stand and ripped the roof off. Uh, it's forecast next two days, sunny, partly cloudy, so not going to do any kind of repair at this time. Do that in the spring, or may put a different roof on in next fall. Sean's going to go up and make sure all the rest of the boards are in good shape now and get the leaves cleared out. Yeah, all clear. Go ahead and push that tree off. Yep. How's everything else? It's fine. Seems okay. Did it rip the fabric at all? Huh? Did it rip any of the fabric or anything? Uh, there's a rip on the back here, but... Nothing major? It's intact. Okay. There's some carving on a tree. This was here when Senior bought the place. Keeps hollow. And that looks down into the bowl where Syntex has a stand down in here. So it peeps hollow. I'm just gonna go up, check my stand. It's really, I'm gonna check to see if the flying squirrels are still in there that were in there in early November. Hopefully they've moved on, but uh, I'll find out in a minute. You didn't see anything moving. They've moved on, which is nice. I'm glad I didn't have to kick them out of here. They're ready for me to get in here on Monday morning. Nice and tight. And here's the new Sunday tradition coming out the door. Eric's ribs. All right. We have the medical man specials. And then as a personal request from White Rook, we also have a Carolina vinegar based. Dual rack of ribs. them in there for what now? Uh, three hours as is, uncovered. You know, the eagles are on. 
when our hot dogs are on. This side of the deck. Our smoker's still going. We've got some five hours for those over there. Are they going to come off? I think we're going to have to check them. Close? Yeah, you might need to turn them. Marking up nicely. everybody it's the chairman just wanted to talk to you guys parents out there about something being from the Philadelphia area I'm a huge Eagles fan and I think you do your kids a disservice if you let them grow up to be Cowboys fans and I don't understand how there's so many Cowboys fans where we live and it kind of makes me sick you're from Pennsylvania but you love the Cowboys. I don't understand it. You guys are all cockroaches. It makes me sick. If you're from PA, specifically Eastern PA, you're an Eagles guy. Western part of the state, Steelers, I understand it. But the Cowboys fans in our area, uh, I just don't get it. So, you know, clean it up a little bit. You know, we're having a good year. Eagles are having a freaking great year, right? Go birds, fuck the cowboys, or bleep the cowboys, we them boys. You guys suck, you're a cowboy fan? It's disgusting. Go birds. His ribs are coming out. Time for a little saucing. so far. Got it down to a science. And apple juice. Apple juice in the tins already. Grips going back in. Nice. So now you're, hours. now you're done for two hours? Yeah. Good. up and bag in for an hour. That's right. Woo. These sweet baby rays, sweet and spicy for rib one and two. These are the spicier ones. Giant 
purposely put on the bottom, just so the spiciness drips down to the ears. Unadulterated. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, Eric knows how to treat them right. Ribs three and four. It's getting stubs. We've seen stubs here before. One of our favorites, or one of my favorites anyway. Good old stubs. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a cook. Look at this, five o'clock. Sun just going down and gunshots all over the mountain. <laughs> Opening day tomorrow. <laughs> made some mac and cheese, boiled it up, put it in a tin pan, put some breadcrumbs on the top. <laughs> and that just look awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, no, absolutely. All right. All right. Yours are on top, so yep. we don't trip down. Oh. I think we lost a half there. Quarter, third of a row. Good sign. Chef gets to taste that. Yep. They call that pitmaster privilege. Nice. All right, let's get them in. These were Carolina. So. Yeah. Get in there, Steve. We got oh boy. two different types. Our mac and cheese. <laughs> Chairman approval or what? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is good. You can you can cut that and start can, eating. Yeah, you can cut, turn the light off, throw that thing on my bed and start eating. All right. Sounds good to me. Yeah. settled in there well well before light so we certainly applaud him for that Eric good luck thank you very much stay safe shoot straight as they too. say yes those pair of Irish setters Irish setters oh yeah well, I think it's gonna wear them you might as well honor your dad man that's it there you go not old school, is the Pennsylvania tuxedo a Delaware tradition, Tom? No, no it is not. I'm going a little new school, a little old school. The new school is the, uh, the pants and the jacket. The old school is the nice shirt. And we're just about ready to head out. 
Yeah, right. Thumbs up. There. Oh, it's it's just there. Oh, you I got your bright light. Oh, there you go. Thumbs up from the chairman. We're ready. Got a report from the chairman. We heard a shot down there. Uh, he's not sure if he hit it or not, or he's playing possum a little bit. But I'm gonna take a walk down to see him. And I told everybody else to stay in their stand for right now. There's the chairman over in the stand. time I'm back at the cabin looked from chairman's deer for about an hour or more in the area that uh, he shot we had no blood no hair no nothing circled and circled and circled around and crisscrossed and had him go back into the stand and have me stand where he thinks he shot and start doing some circles from there and found absolutely nothing whatsoever so we're thinking just as a clean miss on that one. Uh, the guys are having some some views down there anyway. We got a looks like we got a, a four corn or a two point, uh, however you like to say that, uh, running around down there. Um, and so they're seeing some things, some does, some turkeys. Uh, saw the bobcat this morning, which was great. So I'm just going to come back and get the lunch. We've made it to about noon. Hopefully you can hear me, since I'm whispering right now. Um, seen 60 or so far today. Predominantly uh, does and a couple yearlings. And the best of which actually was a buck, but it was a four-pointer. And two points on one side, which is one point short of being legal to take, so. He was actually over here in the direction of the sun and uh, it took me a little bit because of the glare to identify uh, that he did not have enough points and so uh, he got to walk and I got something to make the time go by a little bit. It's always nice to see something at least. So uh, the other guys are seeing stuff too, some other does, uh, spike, and there was a bobcat going around. 
and a group of about 20 turkeys, which uh, the other guys saw, but I didn't. I could hear it, though, from up here. So, stuff like that, it, you know, it makes the day go by, like I said, but it would be nice if a shooter came along at some point. We'll see. Ready to get back up into the stand. It's been a pretty good day for the guys. They've seen some deer. Just uh, unfortunately nothing to shoot except for the chairman. That, that's a definite miss. But we're hoping we get a little bit moving this afternoon. It's been a pretty nice day. Uh, it's about a low 40s right now. So weather has really cooperated for us. Uh, I'll get back up there and uh, we'll see what happens. And we'll get into some roast beef sandwiches, hot roast beef sandwiches, homemade gravy. Yeah, the sun's about ready to slip down below the mountain. So far this afternoon, that spike seems to be running around to everybody. Not too much, a lot of squirrels and chipmunks. At the end of day one, yeah, pretty exciting as far as at least getting a shot. We'll go back and uh, we'll see you in the cabin. Hey, Chairman, what did you see today? I saw one buck who I filmed. Are you going to show the video of me? Film the video? All right that I filmed, then realized was legal, and then it might have been a rush shot. Yeah. We yeah. looked, nothing, no blood. No hair. I'm no. gonna say kill, no recover, <laughs> just to make me feel better. <laughs> Even though it was a clear miss. Yeah, clear, clear, absolutely. How about, how about you, Techno E? Uh, <laughs> four doe, a bobcat started off the morning, followed by four doe, and then a spike later on in the afternoon. That's Mr. It. Spike, he's he's getting to know all of us. Yeah. How about you, Cook? I saw a spike that I think started off as like a three-pointer on one side and probably had two of the points knocked off when uh, Mike tried to shoot it. Yeah. Ouchie. That's my and, guess. And that was it? That was it. And that wasn't until 3, 3.30 3. late in the day. Right. You ready? Oh, yeah. Hey, how about you? Sent Dax. I even gave you a confessional in the tree. Oh, okay. Well, then I don't I even did. need anything yeah, from you. Like two yearlings, three does, three or four does, and a non legal four pointer. Oh, my God. God <sighs> damn Pennsylvania. Don't Pennsylvania, worry. sons of bitches. There's our roast beef warming up in the homemade gravy. A couple sticks of butter in there. Broth. All kinds of good stuff in it. Get these buns toasted up now. <laughs> Second morning, Eric no, leaving way well there. before the rest of us. Good luck, man. Thank you, Oops. sir. Hope the little guy shows up down there. <laughs> And my mean little guy, I mean take six pointer, whatever. He's going to get on his Polaris and quietly head down to the stand. Get in there. It's probably an hour, 20 minutes even before shooting time. Right. Get ready, second morning. Got 35 degrees out there, a little windy. We'll be heading out shortly. You guys gotta look up. There you go. Help me with my backpack, Daddy. <laughs> you never loved me. Hey, since X and I are getting ready, second day here, hoping for the best. Well, I guess we're not here, Steve. Hey, no. I, already, I already said that to you guys. I think you were out taking a shit for the third time. That happens. Yeah, I think, Steve. Sunrise, second morning. Quiet so far, a few shots here and there, nothing too much. A little blue.
greasy, but not too bad. Let's hope something happens. There's some turkeys in the background this morning. I'm going to head back in in about five minutes or so. 9.30. Ah, not too much activity today. The chairman thought he saw a group of four, maybe doe, and then something trailing it. I think it's split between... The chairman is down that way. The, uh, as we call them now, Techno E is kind of straight down from me here, and I think we split them where they're kind of milling around down the bottom in a, in a holler down here. So I'm gonna head back in. We got some cleaning up to do. Some trash. I'll take care of that stuff. But again, not too much up here. I think Syntex had a lonely hen uh, yelping away up next to him this morning. And really, as soon as the light hit the top of those trees, the squirrels started coming out and kind of doing their thing. Really didn't distract me that much, but uh, just not too much activity. A little windy this morning, and that may be keeping those, those deer kind of kind of down a little bit. About noon, uh, Mike, Eric, Sean, still in the stands. A little bit of a slow morning for him. Haven't really seen too much. Steve and I collected all the trash, all the recyclables, all the bottles, cans, and took it down to the local dump down here and did our part to do the recycling for everything and just get rid of the trash. We have to pack everything out of here. There is no burning up here or community dumpster or anything like that. So we packed out all our trash and, and got all that recycling where it should be. So I'm gonna wait just a little bit. It's, it's starting to be a nice afternoon. It's actually getting up to about, uh, I think we're up to about 50 degrees or so. So I'm gonna uh, either put a vest on, what I'm wearing right now, or grab my jacket again. I'm gonna head out about 2.33ish uh, and we'll see what happens this afternoon. You know, I've certainly got my share of bucks on Tuesday afternoon, that's for sure, so you never know what's going to happen. A little bit windy today, and I think maybe the wind might be, uh, you know how deer act when it's a little windy, they're a little on the skitterer side because everything's moving around, so that may be preventing them from moving as much as they did yesterday. But we'll see what happens. The sun is ready to slip past the mountain again, second day. Pretty slow for us. I think uh, Techno E down there saw our spike. I don't think uh, Sean saw anything. Chairman had a per pretty good day, some seeing some things, but just not some bucks. As uh, the second day comes to a close, the three other guys will be leaving this evening, and uh, Sean and I will be enjoying a, a nice night of uh, a little bit of probably some leftovers and uh, a little movie. We'll get up tomorrow morning to go ahead and make the trip back down to the peninsula. So have about another 45 minutes to go here. Thought I heard something a little bit ago, but I never could see anything. I'm not sure what down below over here. But uh, we'll keep looking because you never know. I've certainly got deer second afternoon with three minutes to go in the shooting light, and I'm sure a lot of other people have.
Oh. Out of the of chain. Oh yeah, like somebody's gonna steal that. Frankenstein. There goes cooking the chairman. Uh, it is Techno E. We'll make his way back down. He's got a very early medical procedure that he has to be in attendance for in the morning. AKA medical man, but medical man is no more. It is Techno E. Jeep to go back down to the peninsula. We had a great time as always. Thanks for coming along with us. We appreciate it. From the chairman, Camp Cook, the new Techno E, Syntax, Sean, of course, and myself. Uh, we really enjoyed having you along. Had a great weekend. So everybody, fuck it. We're out of here.